Hi, it's Lou. You know, I was just reading an article from USA Today and they were talking about a lady that was from China originally, uh, Susanna Lay, actually. And she was talking about having purchased six properties over many years, three decades with herself, her family. They were building their nest egg, building their income stream, building up a retirement plan. And they got hit with this pandemic just like everybody else did. And it's been a challenge for a lot of landlords out there for sure. And it really kind of relates to the business model, right? The business plan, because she's talking about now all of her tenants, all six of her tenants have lost their jobs and have stopped making payments altogether. Now this challenge has actually put her in a position where she cannot make any of the mortgage payments, the six mortgage payments that she has on these properties. And of course that's put her in a world of hurt and it's a very sad situation to be in. Truly it's a domino effect. If the residents can't pay their rent, then of course the landlord cannot make their mortgage payments. They cannot make their in insurance payments they cannot make their interest payments and, and the other requirements that they have repairs and everything else. It's just the domino effect because of course it's no secret that the landlord relies on the income from the residents to make those expenses and hopefully someday pay down, pay down, pay off the mortgage and now have a retirement income. And it's a great opportunity for a lot of people. But I do think it relates to the challenges of being a landlord. You know, it's one of the decisions that we made years ago to kind of shift and change from the traditional landlord model. Now, what are we working with here? Well, first of all, there's, according to the Urban Institute, there's 48 million rentals out there. There's 48 million doors out there. That's a lot. Now, if you figure that based on the census, they say that, is 2.3 people that live in every rental. Well, that's over a hundred million folks that are living out there as renters. And certainly there's a lot of people like ourselves that are offering rentals to those folks. And it's a great and noble uh, business to be in because we're providing housing. We're providing affordable housing to a lot of folks out there. Now, one of the biggest challenges is that uh, many people are impacted by this current pandemic issue that we've got. In fact, they say that there's 12% now that are in forbearance, meaning they cannot make the payments on their mortgages. And so therefore the lenders have worked with them to forbear the payments for a period of time. They're saying that 20% of, of the folks that, who own these rentals that are in forbearance are black. They're saying that 14% are Hispanics. And so as a result, there's a lot of folks that are in certain neighborhoods and they're attracting certain residents that have been even more, let's say impacted by this, this pandemic than the normal population. And the reason is because of the jobs that they have and the neighborhoods that they're in. So that's, that's another thing to consider as you are making your overall plans for your business. Have you considered the neighborhoods that you're in and, and the type of jobs that your residents have? And could that also impact you? Well, in our community, we are in a very heavily, um, let's say demographically, uh, the area that we invest in has very similar types of folks that live there. However, we're not being impacted nearly as much as other people. Now you might ask, well, why is that Lou? The answer is that we're doing something different than other landlords are doing. So we, we offer a program, it's called the path to home ownership, where we help deserving families, regardless of credit or financial background to end up with home ownership. So we do look at people's income. We do look at the type of jobs that they have, but we also have a better plan maybe for them. And perhaps our folks are 
working even harder to make sure that their payments are made because they have something, they have a future with us that they don't have with a normal landlord. So we are certified affordable housing providers and we offer a program in our community. As I mentioned, it's the path to home ownership. Now in this path to home ownership, we're helping people to move from rent to rent to own to owner financing and ultimately to cash sale. And that means that they got good enough credit, good enough down payment. They're ready now to get a loan at low interest from a bank. In the meantime, we fill the gap uh, from just rental being landlords to helping them to end up with home ownership. So it's certainly something to consider as you are looking at your business, perhaps the residents that you currently have, you could convert those to path to home ownership clients. Um, we've got all the paperwork to do that. We've got the step-by-step -step processes. We've got the formula and it definitely involves some training. I do believe that landlording is a skill. It is a learned skill. It doesn't come naturally. It doesn't come with the DNA. Uh, it's some things that you have to learn about what you do and how you do it. That helps people to win at the game of paying their monthly payments, helps you win at the game of certainly offering housing to folks out there in the world and having people incentivized to make sure that their payment is made to you. So I just encourage you to step back from your business for a moment and look at it. Uh, if you're just getting started in the business, good news, you don't have anything to fix. And uh, if you've been in the business and some people join me with literally hundreds of properties and they completely shift and change their business model because we're offering something different. Now, the other thing and benefit to a landlord is that we have additional services that we provide to our clients. So for example, when we offer them the rent to own the owner finance, well, they're actually putting some money down and in some cases, very significant money. Um, right now, I just met with a real estate office last week and uh, immediately one of the, uh, the, the agents that was in the room said, Lou, this is a perfect program for us because I just have a client that sold a home. He's got money to work with, but he can't qualify for a loan right now because he doesn't have the income. He's retired. His son has income, but he's got no background. He's got no credit. He says, your program is perfect for my father's son uh, situation here. And I said, well, how much down payment money does the father have to work with? He said $57,000. So he's got a net of $57,000. Now what's happened since last Thursday that I made the presentation to those agents is actually they've gone out and looked at a property that we have coming available in the next month. They like the property. They want to see the inside. We're going to get them in this week. If they love the property, they're going to have that down payment money to work with. Uh, towards purchasing that home. And certainly it's not going to be hard to qualify them. The son is a truck driver. The son does have income, but no credit. No bank's going to work with the son. No bank's going to work with the father. Guess what? We can work with both of them, give them an opportunity at home ownership under our program. So that's just an example and uh, a perfect example of getting a very significant down payment that you would not get if you were just being a landlord, just renting property. Well, hopefully this has been valuable to you. Like it, love it. Please share it out to your friends. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Yeah, baby.